Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a year seven tips thing or like going into high school. The first tip is be nice to teachers because I found that if you're nice to teachers in year seven, you actually like you're less likely to get in trouble like in year eight and other years and like including year seven as well because if you're nice to teachers uh, like you're gonna gain their trust and kind of thing and they're gonna think that you're like like you could be their favorite in some of their classes so like yeah just be nice and don't but like i found if i'm quiet in a class like the teacher won't know who i am and then it doesn't matter if i'm nice to them because they're just not gonna know who i am so like I always, like I talk to teachers that I like. Like I talk to my maths teachers. I love all the maths teachers, they're so good. Um, who else do I talk to? I talk to my his my old history teacher, not the one now, because I did not like the one that I had second half year eight. It was not good because I moved tutors and everything. Um Yeah, so them teachers like I always talk to, I always talk to my tutor till I moved tutor. Then I talked I talked to my recent my current tutor well yeah and they're all god and they always have my back <laughs> um but yeah i think you're less you're so much less likely to get in trouble because they just don't think that you're bad and they like whenever i've done something bad they just kind of take it on as a joke but if anyone else was to do that they'd be in trouble but yeah that was a lot of rambling i've got loads so i'm gonna try and not yap about too much next one is don't stress too much about tests and yeah i completely agree with this one because i feel like year seven is more about getting used to the school atmosphere and like obviously high schools are normally a lot bigger than primary schools so like just getting used to it, making friends i wouldn't worry too much about tests until like maybe like march like i feel like those first few months are so crucial for like your mental health and everything as well because you're getting used to the school, you're getting used to all the different people, used to teachers, like used to like homework and all the stuff. But yeah, I just think don't stress too much about it until like the end of year ones that you get for like sets in year eight. Well, yeah, <clears throat> next one, I would say bring a backpack because I think it's more practical. I know some people might disagree. I know like handbags, you just get them, you open them and then you can get whatever you want. But I feel like just carrying a bag on your back is so much easier and I feel that like you're less likely to get like dirty looks from old years or people in your year but yeah that one's not really that crucial like, you don't have to have a bag pack pack if you don't want one but yeah next one is make friends outside of your circle I agree with this completely because when I came into high school um there was four people in my friend in my primary friend group and we got split off into two and then there was like like i was more friendly with the two in the other tutor that i wasn't put in um so then I've, so i've now i've moved tutors but i wish i did in year seven but also i'm kind of happy i didn't because i've made so many friends in that tutor that i was put in originally like i've made so many close friendships in there and then obviously in in that because we were put in different bands as well so it's like if you don't know what it is you don't know what it is if you do you do so in my band i made so many close friends and um, i'll keep them forever <laughs> but then obviously in my new band i made so many who weren't in my circle in year seven but now they are because i've moved but yeah i would say make friends with as many people as you can talk to as many people as you can um you know on like tiktok like their like their videos because then they'll know who you are they'll see you around in school then you'll become friends do you know what i mean <laughs> um but yeah next one is be nice but don't act too young so like there's so many people i know they're like they're so nice that they just seem so much younger than they are and it just like sometimes i don't really want to hang around with them because i feel like they're so much younger than me but it's just because they're nice but like they act younger because they're nice like they don't stand up for themselves which i feel like you learn as you get older i'm using my hands too much but yeah i feel like you don't learn how to kind of stand up for yourself until you're quite a bit older well because they don't know when they just kind of let it all come out of them like if somebody was 
having a go at them they'd literally just stand there and i feel like if you're not going to talk back you just seem younger like you don't have to be rude like being rude doesn't make you older it makes you look a bit of a donk but i feel like if you're going to be nice at least have a bit of a backbone and know when to stand up for yourself instead of just being nice <laughs> next one kind of goes with the last one that i just said be mature but don't act really old because the old years might think you're cocky so be mature because i feel like i was very mature in year eight and year seven i think i was probably less mature in year seven definitely but that was just because i was because i was younger um obviously coming from primary school you're coming with a lot of younger kids but then when you go into high school i feel like it just make you more mature because you're around older people and like teachers expect you to be more mature like sometimes they expect you to be more mature for your age but it's just like because if you're clever they'll expect you to be more mature than like like if you're set one they expect you to be more mature than if you're set three which i don't think is fair um i've had a lot of teachers say that to people in my class because like, if i've been in set one i remember last year or it might have been this year yeah it was this year and we were in maths and they were like oh some of the some of the set four kids act better than you so i'm like like that's that's not like that's not fair to say i don't think but i think you should be mature but obviously don't act really old um because i feel like when year sevens come in the old years they just they will take anything they are literally like the internet to influencers they will literally take anything and just twist it but yeah next one is don't be too honest with people in year seven like make sure you gain their trust and they've gained yours like don't just go around saying anything and like don't be spreading too much about you because it'll come back to you and bite you in the bum um yeah next one i think this is the last one yeah be so be careful with what you post online obviously i have to listen to this one if you do I can't really say anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so be careful with what you post online. Don't be posting things about people because it's just not worth it. Um, okay, and then I've put a little dash next to this to add on to that one. And it says, if you're trying to be an influencer, be prepared for backlash. Obviously, it's horrible. Like, I remember in, I don't think I, I actually haven't got it too much, but I know other influencers have said, like, when they went to school it was awful for them and people would just come up to them and just say the worst things i haven't actually had it that bad but i feel like if i got bigger i'd feel like i'd get it worse but yeah it has no it actually hasn't been too bad for me like i remember once somebody in the line was like like in the dinner line they were like oh sure your youtube videos are so cringe i was like okay cool story um but yeah that is the end of my video i just want to say Good luck to anyone going into year seven. I hope it's nice. <laughs> it was nice for me, it was actually not too bad. Um, it's next chapter, next adventure. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications to be notified whenever I post a video. See ya.